Hey, good morning, everybody. We're uh, back for another day. Um, yeah, we're doing field work. That's what we're doing. I've been doing it for the last couple days, and I've got some videos, not all of them. I was really good at starting everything, starting the day off, getting going, and then I just got taken away by the day and never really ended up finishing any. So, um, Hopefully today I can actually finish that and I'll also include all that other stuff into this video. Well, we're back for another day. It's uh, let's see, May 20th. Actually, So, got the AC rolling because it's 70 degrees out already and it's like, oh, like 11 o'clock now. It's been a rough morning. Broke the pin on the cylinder and it bent all a bunch of the yokes up on the end of it for the wing. Um, yeah, it's just it's been a rough morning. So finally getting somewhere. We're just unfolding the other side of this thing. I can get it to work. There we go. So anyways, we tried chisel plowing this morning, but the field I tried to chisel plow soft field and all it did was ball up so we're just gonna no-till that. We're all set up for no-till corn so we're just gonna no-till it and be done with it and not worry about it so that's what we're doing there. Um, yeah so we're just gonna work some fields now. Hopefully nothing else breaks. Fingers crossed. Had some knock on, but if I did I'm not getting for that. But anyways so we got the rest of the day to work fields. So, we got our planter. This is the first field we're going to plant. I think it's uh, 20, 22 or 24 acres, something like that. And uh, it's all the same ground. So, I mean, we got three and a half inches of rain on Sunday and today's Wednesday. So, there's nothing going on back at the home farm. It's just standing water everywhere. It's all clay up there, so we uh, figured we'd get our sand ground done quick and hopefully we can be ready to roll them on the clay ground next week if it doesn't rain anymore. Fingers crossed. So, anyways, here we go. Well, good morning, everybody. Back for another day here. Just getting started this morning. It's, I think, like 7.45, so just gonna let the tractor warm up, and I'm gonna do some greasing. So, that's what the plan is. Just make sure everything keeps going around. All right, so I just made it back to the tractor. I got this hat for the field worked before Grandpa called me and told me that he blew up one of the finger plates in the planter. So, um, yeah, I had to go take care of that. And now Jeremy and Mark are there with the parts. So I'm going to get back to this.
All right, so we finished up this field here. I think it's 20-ish acres. Um, it's a new field. This is the first time we've actually farmed it. Uh, we just started running it, so um, yeah, I mean, the only issue I see is a cell phone tower or something that's going in right there, so that's kind of weird, but, well, not weird, but it's the fact that it just makes it kind of a nuisance to work around, but it's whatever. Um, can't do anything about that, but looks like we picked up a stick along the way, didn't we? Kick, see if we can get that out. Pull that out of there. Hopefully it won't fall out, or so it won't fall out going down the road. Oh yeah, she's stuck. Look how long that's been back there for. It's nice and smooth here. Anyways, uh, this is the only issue I see with our color packer is that this thing packs full of mud when uh, we get into the, our heavier ground. So that, that's the issue I have with it. As you see, when we were working all of our lighter ground, we never had an issue once with any of this plugging or any of the wings plugging. And then now you look at it, you got a plug section there, a little bit there, some over there, and then the whole bottom piece is plugged. So that part kind of sucks. Um, I don't know what to really do about it. We'll just have to we'll set that mark pressure, wash it out. All of our spikes here are looking good. Nothing getting too war. All of our cultivator points are looking good. So I don't see that we're missing any anywhere. Yeah. I knocked out about 100 acres yesterday of disking from uh, noon till like six o'clock is when I caught up to Mark. He's chopping. He's chopping down our rye that's this tall. I did get a flat tire the other day on the chisel plow. Um, that was exciting. That was that was on Monday, Memorial Day. That happened about eight o'clock in the morning. I was like, this is not how I want my day to go. But we actually happen to have the right tire size up on the shelf. So that was a plus. Made it a little bit easier. I think we're all done chisel plowing, so that's nice. I can really knock out the acres now. All right, 56 gallons, 57 gallons. Let's see where we're at up here. About right here. We still got a ways to go. The steel gauge kind of works. You'll be able to really see right. No, oh, dirt on my finger. Right at the quarter mark, there's a broken. The needle broke. The needle broke off on our gauge, so that's how you tell how full it is. Sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah. Quarter tank. Got another 200 gallons to go. All right, so. Uh, 230, 231 maybe. I think it's rolling over 231. That's not too bad. What do you guys think? Is that too much fuel or not enough? I mean, that's probably two days of running for this thing. So anyways, I gotta just finish putting on the fuel cap because put a big old gasket in it, it doesn't leak anymore. Oh, it's too tight. <clears throat> Takes two hands.
All right, that's gonna be it for the day. Ooh. Walking feels weird after sitting in this thing for 16 hours with 14. So I don't even know, I lost track. Anyways, yeah, I think we've finished up with disking for the year. These things are nice and polished, you know, nice and smooth. Um, we might hook back up to this thing one more time. I feel that just worked over, didn't work over well. Uh, it was a cover crop of rye and the rye was about this tall i'm gonna say so it didn't really break down too much and we, well we actually mowed it so you know when you mow grass and i just it's a mess anyways so you can see part of it's right here even you know it's just mulched up grass the disc really doesn't cut through that well so that's the only downside of doing cover crops i'm gonna say Unless you kill them off early and they work in a lot better that way before they get tall and actually have some mass to them. So, anyways, that's gonna be it for the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.